We're going to take a look at the Buffalo Network Admin Tools today. First thing you want to do is open it up. Now we're going to take a look and see how updates, issues, or things that might need to be taken notice will appear in your Network Admin Tools. I actually have a VPN configured so that way you'll see here I have things that are on my LAN as well as things that are being discovered across my VPN tunnel. If you wanted to be able to add devices across the tunnel, you can easily just right click on any blank space over here and then you can click on specify IP address range and scan. And it'll tell you, hey, you've got two network, network adapters open right now. Uh, one's my LAN and one is my VPN tunnel, PPTP tunnel. And you can go and automatically have it scan through. I, or you could just type in a range. Maybe you know, hey, it's going to be between here and here. Don't bother scanning because it's going to check every individual port. It's going to look for SMP or ping and do a couple things to try to find various terror stations. Once we've got those added, and you'll see I have those added here, you're going to see various flags all throughout here. Let me expand this a little bit and show you what's happening. I have various terror stations that need updates. I could now click on one of these. I can right click on that and do the terror station update by going into the menu. Okay, let's update that firmware. Or I can choose it on the on the left side. Uh, if I just select my terror station and then I can click tools, check for updates, it'll actually go check online and say, hey, look, we see that there is an update for your terror station. Again, we can just check all of our terror stations and hit next. You'll see here, yep, it's going to go through. It's going to take a look for any updates that are available for those. So I'm going to close this out now and we're going to take a look at another update. I have gone into my Terra Station 5800 and I've unmounted two of the drives. What that's going to do is it's going to put my RAID 6 into a degraded mode. So if I click on this, you'll see over here, hey look, I have a RAID 6. Let me expand that a little bit. It's going to show you all the information about it, if there's anything plugged into these. It's not recognizing these hard drives here, and that's because it's in ARRAYED, so it's going to recognize the array rather than the drive. I can also right-click on this, View and Manage, and then I can do a filter log. And you'll notice here that it's found, hey, your RAID array is degraded. So that's what my important information is right now, is my RAID array has been degraded. If there's a terror station that goes offline, if the network card fails, perhaps, or a VPN tunnel is down, it can't find it, or uh, perhaps the device is turned off, it'll actually list it here and I'll say there's a communication error. Can't talk to that terror station. Let's go ahead and I'll right click on this and then we'll be able to open the web admin interface. It's going to show you a timestamp of how often these things are happening. Um, you'll see here at 945 that's when I went and scanned and found that device It added it and here is when I started breaking out my RAID array. I went through. Now in, in addition to that you're also going to likely have set up an SMTP service so that way you'll also have any people on a list be getting an email. Uh, to do that you'll know uh, you'll see in the management area and then you'll have email notifications. So this would have emailed somebody out if I had a recipient. Um, you'll notice the flag is, is going here. Hey you have an alert. You've got some hard drives down. The system's running in degraded mode. So I'll go into my drives and here's where I have my unmounted disks. Let's rediscover these disks. And you'll see here I went into my array and I'm just going to rebuild that array and it's going to take a little while to rebuild it across but then we'll be back in business. So it's a very easy way to get a good overview uh, for an admin who might have a lot of terror stations, especially if you have um, a, a large network of them and you want to just know, hey, what's happening with all my terror stations? I, you don't want to have to log into each one. Uh, you just want a nice quick overview. You could zoom this out if you don't want to do scrolling. So you can kind of play with that a little bit and get it the way that you want it. Some of these things, you'll see these flags. Let me zoom back in on a couple of these devices. These ones with updates, I might be holding back on a specific firmware because I'm doing a test on one of mine to make sure it doesn't hurt anything. And I've got maybe three others over here that I haven't updated. You can always just right click on the icon for the device. If you click on the text, it's actually is about like clicking on blank space. So you want to use the icon. Click on that, right click, you can just close that notification out. That way I'm not bothered by those. And then I'll just get updates for the, for the information here. 
Another thing that you can do that you might want information on is if you were to right click on these device you can set up a TerraStation function for check monitoring the array or disk usage. So if I want to say monitor to make sure if I get below a percentage or a specific gigabyte set to show an information flag. Uh, if I get down to 5% capacity left I need to know so that way I am aware that I need to have something done. And you'll even notice here I have a new log that my I am restructuring my RAID array. So I started rebuilding it it's updated that information here in the log. If somebody needs to find out what's gone on in the past or maybe you have a couple admins, they can see, okay, somebody's already restructuring that RAID array. I don't have to hop into it right now. Let's not have two people doing that. You can also do show set error information. If you don't want it to show information or error information, then you don't have to um, if you don't want those flags there.